Hey guys, RevitMEP guy here, and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about drawing pipe in Revit. We're going to start off with a lot of the beginner issues that happen when drawing pipe in Revit. I'm going to show you how to set your view range, make sure your discipline is correct, and we're going to also talk about loading pipe fittings and setting your routing preferences, and I'm going to show you some tricks on how to set your routing preferences, load your fittings and your pipe types, using copy and paste from another project. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is just open up a new project and you don't have to open up this project but I'm going to show you what happens if we open up an architectural template file. Now Revit loads a certain amount of families depending on whatever template you are using. So if we go to systems and we go to pipe in an architectural um, template when we start to draw the pipe you'll see that's nothing's happening okay and then when I finish drawing the pipe you'll see we get a warning that says none of the created elements are visible in floor plan. You may want to check the active view, its parameters and visibility settings as well as any plan regions and their settings. Essentially what that's saying is something is wrong in this view and it's not allowing you to see the pipe. Okay, But there is pipe being drawn in the project and the way we can check that is if we go to view and click on a default 3D view, you'll see that Revit did draw this piece of pipe. Okay, We just can't see it in our view. And there can be a couple reasons for that. The first thing we need to check is we need to check the view range. And under your properties, if you go to view range, you can see, you can hit edit, and you'll see that there is a bottom, and that's at zero at level one, and there's also a top. Okay, and that's at seven foot six. When we draw the pipe, if we draw anything above seven foot six, it's not gonna show up in this view or floor plan. So let's try that again. So I'm gonna go back to systems, I'm gonna go to pipe, and when we start to draw the pipe at nine feet, you'll see nothing happens. This time, let's try to draw the pipe, I don't know, let's say six feet. Again, nothing is happening. Now the second thing you wanna check to make sure is that you are in the right type of view. And usually the view is going to be displayed based on the discipline. So when I go to floor plan, when I go to discipline right here, you'll see it says architectural. Now architectural floor plans only display things that are below the cut plane, okay? And what does that mean? Well, if I go back to my view range, you can see there's this thing called cut plane. Now for architects, they use this to display cabinets and, and windows and certain things that are intersecting this cut plane. But anything above this cut plane is not gonna show up. So all of my pipes that I draw above four feet will not show up. So what happens if we draw a pipe that's below four feet, let's say three feet? As you can see, my pipe is now showing up, okay? If I change my view type to fine, and this is your detail level, so if I change it to fine, you'll see that the pipe shows up as a two-line pipe. Now, we want to be able to draw pipe at any elevation we want, so we do not want to use an architectural view or discipline when we're drawing our pipe. We want to switch this to a plumbing or mechanical view, and that way our pipe will always show up no matter what elevation we draw it. So this time I'm going to draw it at 9 feet, or let's say 6 feet, and everything is working now. Now let's try drawing the pipe at 9 feet and we'll see what happens. I'm going to select 9 feet, and as you can see, we're not able to draw this pipe. So let's go back to our view range settings, hit edit, and as you can see my top is still set at 7 foot 6. Well, I want the top of this view to be at the next level, or level 2. So level above, and I want it to be set at 0. Okay, so now all my pipe starts to show up. Okay, so that's how you switch your view range in a way that allows you to show the pipe correctly. But also, you need to make sure that your discipline is set to either mechanical, or plumbing, or coordination. If it's set to architectural, pipe is not going to show the way you want it to. Okay, If I want to check what my elevations for my levels are, I can always go to an elevation view and you can see that my level 1 is at 0, 0 and level 2 is at 10 feet. Okay, So that's another way I can check to make sure my pipe is being drawn at the right elevation. And you can see all my pieces of pipe are right there. If I go to a north 
elevation view, you can see now the pipes are in a line. Okay, that's because we're looking at the pipe from a different angle. Now the reason I opened up an architectural project is because I wanted to show you something that happens when you open up a project that doesn't have all of your pipe fittings loaded. So when I click on pipe and I draw this at 9 feet, which is now working, let's say I'm going to go to this point right here, and when I try to go down, you'll see that little, um, you know, don't or can't symbol. And that means that Revit can't draw this piece of pipe. Anywhere I go, it's not going to allow me to draw it. But if I go straight, it'll let me do it. Let's see if we try to increase or decrease the elevation. Let's go to 6 feet. Again, you'll see that Revit's not allowing me to click and draw this pipe. Now the reason it's doing that is because there are no fittings loaded into this project. Now I just know there are no fittings loaded into this project, but there's a couple ways I can check that. One way, I could just go up to pipe fittings, click that, and you'll see that Revit's saying, no pipe fittings are loaded into this project, would you like to load one? For now, let's just cancel out of there. But also, if I click on my pipe, and I go to edit type, and I go to routing preferences, click edit, as you can see, this, there is no elbow loaded, there's no T loaded, there's no junction loaded, there's no cross loaded. None of these fittings are loaded for my pipe, so anytime I try to draw any of these fittings, Revit doesn't know what to draw, okay? So I have to load these fittings into my project before I can start to draw a pipe. Now what we could do is we could go back to pipe fittings, and this time we'll click yes, and now we have to search through our computer to find wherever the pipe fittings are located in our computer. So I know they are in Revit 2021, Libraries, English Imperial. I have to go to Pipe, Fittings, and for this I'll use Generic. And I can load all these fittings, any one I want. I can hold down the control button to select multiple ones. Or I could just hit the top right here, hold shift, and select all of them. And I could load all of these in at once. Now when I do that, Revit's going to take a while, and it's going to load all of these fittings. I'll do it really quick and fast forward the video to show you how long it will take. Now Revit finally finished loading all the fittings, so they should be in my project now. So the way to attach fittings to a certain pipe is I have to click on the pipe, I have to go to edit type, I have to go to routing preferences, hit edit, and now I have to select all the elbows that I want to use. So for elbow I'll use this generic standard and for my minimum size I'll just select all. Maximum size I don't need to because I selected all. For T or junction I could use this T. For this junction I could use a T generic standard. For cross, I can use cross generic standard, and I would have to do this for all, and I also have to make sure I use this all, so it will work with all sizes. Okay, as you can see, this is taking quite a bit of time, and I don't really want to have to do this, okay? So I'm going to show you a better way. So I'm going to close out of this project and open up a new project. So I'm going to go to view, I'm going to close all my windows cancel out of this project. I don't want to save it. And this time I'm going to go to new Imperial architectural template and hit OK. So I've loaded this same project up and again I'm going to change my discipline this time to plumbing. I'm going to change my view range right off the bat to the level above level 2 and we'll make it 0 from level 2 and now we will start to draw our pipe and as you can see it's working and again remember when we try to draw pieces of pipe at an angle or at a 90 it's not working because we don't have our fittings well the best way to load in your fittings is to actually open up a plumbing template so I'm going to go back to file I'm going to go to new and this time we're going to hit browse and we're going to find the plumbing default template. Now it'll be in a certain location on your computer, you'll have to find it. You might want to look on the internet on where this would maybe default to, but it's going to be in your 
library somewhere. So we're going to use plumbing default. It's an RTE file. Hit open. Hit OK. And now Revit has loaded this plumbing project, okay? So now if we go to system pipe, we zoom in. Let's make our detail level fine. And we'll go here and we'll draw a 90. And as you can see, everything's working, okay? When we try to draw a pipe going down to six feet, you can see everything is working, all right? If I highlight all of this and I want to use see it in a 3D view, I can use this little section box button and it'll open up that selected version of pipe in a 3D view, okay? If we want to change the detail level, we can change it to fine and that's the pipe I just drew. Now let's say you're saying, okay, well that helped me for this project, but I want to bring in all of those fittings to my brand new project. So again, let's go back to our architectural project. We'll click on our pipe. We'll go to edit type. We'll click edit for routing preferences. And as you can see, remember, we opened up a new architectural template. So none of these are loaded in. All right, I'm gonna hit cancel, hit cancel. Let's go back to our plumbing. I'm just gonna select one of these pieces of pipe. I'm gonna I'll just draw it so you guys know it's just a small piece of pipe. I will select this piece of pipe. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. Now I'm going to go to my architectural project. And now I'm going to paste this piece of pipe into this project. And I'll just paste it anywhere. We'll paste it right there. And now, if you click on this piece of pipe that I just pasted in, we'll click Edit Type, hit Edit under Routing Preferences, and as you can see, all of my fittings have been loaded into this new, or this architectural project, okay? So that is the easiest way to load in all of your fittings and all of your routing preferences without having to select each one. So again, what I'm trying to show you guys is anytime you don't have all of your fittings and you don't have a pipe type that's working in your project, the easiest thing to do is going into the plumbing project, opening up a plumbing default template, drawing a piece of pipe, copying that pipe and pasting it into any project that you don't, that you need your pipe types and pipe fittings. Now another great thing about the plumbing default template is if we go to systems and we go to pipe you can see as if we click this properties box drop down there's two types of pipe there's standard and there's PVC now standard is going to be used for all of your water your domestic water your hot water um, piping or any piping that is just you know needs to be generic PVC should be used for any of your drainage piping um, this could be your sanitary piping or your storm piping. So both of these should get you um, pretty much any kind of uh, you know piping system you need. Um, I would just recommend using these two types of pipe. The difference is the fittings look a little different. And you know one is made of copper, which is the standard type. And the way we can check that is if we go to edit type. We click on our routing preferences, and as you can see, pipe segment is copper-K for this standard type of pipe. When we click on our PVC, we go to edit type. We click on routing preferences. As you can see, polyvinyl chloride rigid schedule 40 is selected for our PVC, okay? And I would use these two ty pipe types for pretty much all of your projects. You don't really need to get super specific in until you learn Revit and get a little more advanced. So again, if we want to bring this PVC pipe type into our other project, all I have to do is copy one of the pieces of pipe, copy it to my clipboard, go to my other project, go to modify, go to paste, paste from clipboard, Hit OK, paste it right into this project, and when I click on it, you can see now pipe types PVC has been loaded into my project. If I go to the routing preferences, 
all of these routing preferences have now been loaded in. And you guys can do this in any project that you have on your desktop. You can save a project that has all your pipe types and all of your fittings and all of your routing preferences preloaded. So anytime you have a project, all you have to do is copy it and paste it into your new project and all of your pipe types, pipe fittings, routing preferences will be loaded in in one click.